Hi everyone, I'm Justin, aka Creamy Discs. I'm here today to show you how to make your very own Creamy Disc. This video is meant to be a basic tutorial for clear glue bed dies, and I'm going to show you everything you need to get started. Let's dive in. I have a 9 inch pie tin. This is going to be used to hold the glue. I have clear glue, that's our medium for our die. I have acetone, that's what we're going to be using to mix up our die. We have a dropper bottle, this is where we're going to be mixing our die. We have the ProCam Beginner Die Kit. This comes with six colors to get you started. I have a teaspoon measuring implement. I have a funnel to get the die into the dropper bottle. I have a toothpick for mixing up the die. And most importantly, I have a blank white premium plastic disc. So let's mix the die. I'm going to use this clear orange from the beginner kit. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to grab my funnel. I'm going to grab my teaspoon implement. This is one fourth of a teaspoon. I'm going to get exactly one fourth of a teaspoon out of this bag. And we're just going to pour it right down into the dropper bottle. I'm going to get as much out of this implement as I can. And then I'm going to take my acetone. And I know that this dropper bottle is two ounces, so I'm going to fill this about exactly halfway. For every one fourth of a teaspoon of dye you use, you're going to want to use one ounce of acetone. So I'm just going to go for halfway. I don't actually have to be precise here. I'll more on that later. But we're just going to fill it up. And I'm just eyeballing it. Just being very careful not to spill. Okay, that looks like that looks like about halfway, so we'll leave it at that. And then I close my acetone bottle so we don't want that to evaporate. Alright, so I'm gonna grab my dropper and screw it on real tight. And then we're gonna shake the heck out of it. We're shaking. We're shaking. Now you can you can do this for probably up to about 30 seconds, but usually I'll give it about 10. And then drop it on the table. And now here's the hard part. You have to leave that for 24 hours to let all the sediment settle. Now at the end of that period, you'll probably notice at the very bottom of the vial there will be like some sediment. You can kind of see it here and this other orange right around the the bottom there. That's okay. That just means the, the dye has settled at the bottom. It's not fully saturated into the acetone yet. So that's to be expected. And uh, come back in 24 hours and your dye will be ready to go. Now we're going to get into the dye. First, I'm going to fill the pan up to about one quarter of an inch from the bottom. And I'm just going to let that glue kind of work its way to the sides. I can test with a toothpick here just to see my dis my depth. Uh, I kind of want a little more, so let's get a little more in there. Okay, that should be good. Use my toothpick again. That's about where I want it. Okay, so I've got my six colors from the starter kit. I've got lilac, bright blue, fern, sun yellow, clear orange, and pinkish red. And I'm going to try to use all these colors. Uh, you can kind of get creative here. You can do whatever you want. Just keep in mind that whenever you have two colors sitting next to each other in a dye bed, they could, they could mix a little bit and create a new color. So you want to avoid putting two colors next to each other that could mix to create brown. So what I'm going to do is just going to create a line of colors. So take my lilac dropper, and I'm going to try to get from the top of the container so I don't get any particles of dye in it. And I'm just going to drop it into the bed. And then I'm going to take my bright blue. Again, drawing from the top of the bottle. And we're going to drop it in the bed just right next to this lilac. You can be pretty heavy on the die here. Keep in mind when you're dropping onto the bed, what's happening is the acetone is evaporating and it's leaving just the die on top of the glue bed. I'm going to take my fern. So the purpose of the glue is to act as a medium of transfer to get the die onto your disc. 
And it holds the die in place pretty well. All right, so I got my fern. I'm going to get sun yellow. I'm going to be pretty heavy on the sun yellow. It's a pretty light color. I'm going to take my clear orange next. Drop that down. And finally, the last little bit is going to be pinkish red. Okay, so I've got my dye on the glue bed, and here's where you can kind of get creative with it. You can do whatever you want, um, but what I'm going to do is just some some basic little swirl patterns. I'm just going to kind of get a little, I'm going to get a little crazy with it. So I'm just going to swirl around here. And you can do, like I said, you can get creative here. You can do anything you like, but I'm just doing a little bit of a basic swirl using my toothpick. And I'm just going to work around that die until it gets to a place where I think it might look good on a disc. Okay. I think we're almost there. What do you guys think? I think it'd be very tempting to over design here or over swirl. You can go too long and sort of end up with a product you didn't quite envision. This is where practice comes in. So I think I think right now it's looking pretty good. Okay, next we're gonna take our disc and we're gonna place it into the die bed. First thing you want to do to prep a disc for the bed is you want to scrub it down really well with like a Mr. Clean magic eraser or some sort of like sponge thing. You can use soap, like dish soap. What that does is it gets any sort of residue from the process of creating the disc off the disc so that it will take dye as clean as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to angle this down into the bed, sort of like lay it down as slow as possible to get all the dye contacting with the disc. If you uh, drop it too fast, you can create little bubbles of space where the dye might not contact the disc. This usually isn't really a problem. It's just uh, it's something you want to try to avoid because if the bubble's too big, it'll be very noticeable. All right, so I'm going to try to slowly just drop this disc down into the bed. Okay, very gently. Very gently. Okay, there we go. The disc is now contacting the die. And the dye process has officially begun. Now, yet another time to enact your powers of patience. We have to wait 24 hours before we remove this, this disc from the dye bed. So, we'll see you then. We've done it. We've successfully dyed a disc. Here is our bottom stamp destroyer, all dyed up. Look at that. Very creamy, extremely creamy. Creamy levels, very high. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know how your disc turned out. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't be discouraged if it didn't turn out quite like you thought. There's a lot of little things you can improve along the way to make things look better, and I'll do my best to, to help you out along the way. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer. Thank you for watching, everyone. And most importantly, Keep it creamy. <laughs>